Today we're going to look at three specific ways to improve scapula or shoulder blade mobility and strength. One of the questions I get asked a lot in courses is about the shoulder blade or scapula. Uh, in the modern fitness environment, lots of people like to do overhead work, sports, obviously we're doing overhead work, and having a mobile and strong scapula is very, very important in a, for a lot of different reasons in terms of shoulder control, keeping your back healthy, making sure you have decent posture, so there's a lot of stuff, a lot of reasons that you want to have scapular control. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through three different versions of an exercise that we call a camshaft, and you can call it whatever you want. It's basically making circles with your scapula or your shoulder blade. And the three uh, areas that we're going to do this, we're going to first do a straight arm version, then we're going to do a bent arm version, and then we're going to do a banded version utilizing an exercise band to work on some strength. Now the basics of this are quite simple if you, if, in terms of thinking. Performing it's a little bit of a different story. So we're going to start off with the easiest position, which is going to be, I want you to take one arm, put the thumb on top, lock the elbow. The elbow needs to stay locked throughout the standard uh, straight arm camshaft because we don't want you using your bicep uh, or recruiting it too much to make the motion happen. So what you're going to do is you're going to stand in neutral, you're going to take the arm directly out to the side. Not up to the front, but out to the side on about a 40 degree angle or so. Now from here, what you need to do is you need to focus on your shoulder blade, lift it up to your ear, pull it back to the midline, so in other words pull it back to your spine, now pull it down to your hip, and then punch it forward. So we're going up, back, down, and forward. Once we've gotten that comfortably, we want to go ahead and smooth that out and create a circle. So this is like a motor coordination control drill that's giving you some awareness, or hopefully increasing your awareness, of your shoulder blade. Now, notice that as I'm doing this, my hand is not making a big circle, which is the number one area error that you will see other than the bent elbow. So it's as if you've grabbed a rope, you're holding onto the rope, and your shoulder is moving, while your hand is staying fixed in place. And that's what I want you to focus on. Once you've done the straight arm version and have started to master some of these movements, I then want you to go to a bent arm version. Really simple. Flex the elbow to 90 degrees and then repeat the movement. Now some people will actually find this much more challenging because the motor control feels a little different when you don't have a long arm lever. So step one, straight arm. Step two, bent arm. Step three would then be to add a band to it. So in this particular case, since I'm working my right side, I have an exercise band attached, and right now I'm going to keep it basically at hand level. Now, if we want to adopt the same position, I'm going to have to rotate my body a little bit this way, and I'm going to get some pressure from the band, and once again, I'm going to go through the basic camshaft. And this is just giving me a little additional load, and obviously I can have a much heavier band if I want more strength work. Now that you've seen that, here's the important part. A lot of people that go through our courses, they learn this because this is the basic movement that we teach on our DVDs and our courses. But what we're always trying to emphasize is that you do not want to have coordination only in one movement pattern or only in one body position. So once you've mastered straight arm, bent arm, and done some strength work, now you need to start playing with body angles or shoulder angles. So what we tell people is think in terms of six positions. I have a top position, I should be able to do a camshaft there. I have a bottom position, I should be able to do a camshaft there. So top and bottom. I have side, directly out to the side. This is a weird one. You have to kind of figure out how the scapula is supposed to move. Then a cross body. So my shoulder's staying square, but I'm reaching across. This one's oft, often quite complicated or difficult for people, depending on their relative level of flexibility. So we have top, we have bottom, we have side, we have cross body, then we have just basic front position here, and then back, where we're really trying to extend. This one becomes probably the most difficult of all of them because of the tension on the scapula and the limited range of motion. But if you're looking for a really competent scapula, a smart one, what you need to do is, again, think straight arm, bent arm, banded, and then six different positions. You do that with both shoulders, uh, give this a little bit of practice over one to two months, what you will find is a massive improvement in freedom in your, your ranges of motion, 
uh, your strength levels, and also just the general comfort uh, and, lack, and less tension that you're going to carry uh, throughout the day. So good luck with this. If you have any questions about it, please let us know. Otherwise, enjoy your new shoulders. Rolling. <laughs> All right. Number two. Rolling. Moving on. Rolling. Rolling. The last time. Today we're talking about working. <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about. Let's still, try that again. Still, still rolling. Okay. All right. Rolling for good. <laughs> <laughs>